Praise the Lord, you reach. Pastor Priscilla Harley, let us go to the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, once again, you have shown yourself to be mighty in knowledge and understanding, full of compassion, merciful, everlasting, in truth. We thank your heavenly father for your wisdom, your understanding, and your patience. Father, let this message come forth that will resonate the necessity of being in unity through you on one accord because we submit to your will and yield to your purpose. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, everything that is done, let it be done to edify and glorify you, to resonate the sincerity of your majesty, holy and righteousness. Father, we honor you, we worship you, and we adore you. For the earth is yours and the fullness thereof and all that dwell within. We thank you because we can enjoy godly pleasures in you as we honor you and live for you. We thank you because you have not identified these earthly vessels as humanity, but you know the inner being which you've placed, the excellency of your spirit that determines what you're returning back for not these earthly vessels, for they shall become celestial as we put on immortality and take off mort. As we take off corruption and put on incorruption. We thank your heavenly Father, for drinking from the cup that you provide and partaking of the body, the bread of life that you rightfully orchestrate your purpose in our life. Father, we thank you because you provide all of our needs according to your riches and glory something that humanity can never control, nor principalities and powers or spiritual wickedness. For they are far greater than what anything humanity could ever comprehend or imagine. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, because you determine the destiny. You determine the author and finisher of our faith. And no one else but you can fully know tomorrow. Lord, we honor you because of who you are. There's so much peace in you, so much power and purpose and provision and ways we can't even fully imagine when we trust you and allow you to work out the situation. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for you've given us a foundation that's higher than humanity. It's on the rock, the rock of our salvation that guards our mind and our heart to obey you and live for you. Father, we thank you because it's all about your will and not our will. For humanity's will will never be in alignment with yours. 
until they submit to your will and embrace your heart and learn from your knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Father, we thank you that you've made it known from the very beginning of creation that you control everything that you create. We thank you for manifesting yourself, revealing yourself in ways that we could comprehend spiritually when you engage with these earthly vessels and make known who you are. Lord, we thank you for the hope and faith that we have in you. For had it not been for you, Father, we would have no greater expectation. And we understand that this is all a trial. That the testing of our faith may be tried and found as pure gold until the day of your return. For you are truly faithful in all your ways. Amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Do you know nothing but the blood of Jesus? It was only his blood that could satisfy the sacrificial requirement. It was only the blood of Jesus. No other blood could do. No amount of money could redeem you. No amount of some royalty or networking or affiliation could meet the requirements of the Father. Just the blood of Jesus. Yes. So that yes. Always remember the finished work of the Son through obedience to the Father. Always to take time to worship him and honor him and trust his ways and purpose. He changes the very essence of your inner being to connect with the spirit that is within you to place you on one accord according to his will. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. When I'm saying I'm yes, Lord. Oh, the day you say I was healed. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Oh, the day yes. you say Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He sent his word to save them and to remove them from destruction and to heal all thy disease that they might know the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. By his stripes, you are his. Mm. Know the power of God beyond human imagination and comprehension. 
receive from the Holy One what only the Holy One can impart and do. Yes. Thank you for the all in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood yes. of, Jesus. of Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you for the blood. Thank you, Lord. Of Jesus. Oh, of Jesus. My, my Lord. Amen. Oh, thank you for the thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the my bright and morning star. My resurrected Savior, oh, the blood that never fails, there's power in the blood, yes, yes, yes. there is power, power, oh yes it is, do you know it? Oh, it's in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, the land. There is power. So much power. power. Oh, yes, it is. All oh, the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power. So much power. power. Oh, it's wonder working power. It's in the blood. Oh, so much power. Oh no, we see the power of the Lamb, the precious blood. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Worthy, 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 who has made us kings and yes, who has washed us in his own, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we behold you, God, yes, Lord. Sing this song of gratitude. Yes, Lord. Say thank you for singing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for redeeming. Yes. Worth is the Lamb that was slain was only by your to power. receive power and riches and strength. I I and honor and glory and blessings. Eternity worthy is the, the Lamb of God. I love this yeah. one. I want him to spend eternity. Thank you, Lord. Worthy God. I am filled with gratitude. Worthy, Lord. Mm, worthy Lord, my brothers and sisters, worthy Lord, worthy Lord. You have chosen yeah. us to be 
You choose, God. You choose. All through the prayer. Yes, God, you choose. Ah, oh, thank you, Lord. Now we have a your perfect knowledge and wisdom. We adore you. We honor you, God. Yes, Lord. Sons and daughters. Yes, Lord. Oh, and you sing over us. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. You sing over us. Shouts of deliverance and love. Yes. I found my joy. Yes, God. Yes. We worship you, Lord. Yes. No other name that is above the name of Jesus. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Yes. The joy of the Lord is your strength. His eyes run to and fro the whole world, the whole earth, to show himself mighty on your behalf. Yes, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, God. Yes. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Christ Jesus. Yes. Christ Jesus, my Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. My Lord. Nothing but the blood. Oh no. Oh nothing. Nothing but the blood. The blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood. Who have started a good work and you will bring it to completion. It is God's desire that you be settled and established and perfected, lacking nothing, wanting nothing, totally satisfied and filled to the fullness of the Godhead. More than enough. Overflowing. My Lord, my Lord. Yes, yes. It was more than enough. More than enough. It was more than enough, more than enough, it was more than enough, more than enough, Lord. Oh, 
מלוב. Thank you, Lord. I'm so grateful. It's because of you that I need. It's because of you. Thank you, Lord. So grateful. Thank you, Lord, to receive all the glory on the I'm so, so grateful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. So, so worthy. So worthy. Amen. 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 When you enter into worship, it's a wonderful, beautiful experience to be in the presence of God, where he takes all of your concerns and lays them at the altar so that you would know. He is the God of creation that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly of all that you can ever ask or think. Let us go to the word of God. I'm going to preach something different at the moment. And it is to be taken very seriously to give you an imagery a comparison from the natural to the spiritual, an illustration of how the body jointly fits together to fulfill the mandated purpose of God. The Bible says there are many members, many parts, but one body, which means there's a purpose in place for everyone drawn through the Son to the Father. But no one can come through the Father except through the Son. In both basketball and football, while I am not a player of either, I'm going to give you an illustration of how the teams work together to achieve a common goal, much like how members of the body of Christ function as one to honor the Lord. Here's a breakdown of the lineup for each sport and how it can be likened to the body of Christ according to the Lord. In the basketball lineup, you have a point guard, the leader who directs, plays, and makes key decisions, much like a pastor or leader in a church. They distribute the ball and ensure everyone is involved towards guiding others in faith and action. The biblical parallel is found in Ephesians 4.11. And he, meaning the Lord, gave some 
apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. God gives leadership. God appoints leadership. God appoints apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the ministry so that they would operate in the anointing and appointment from God to guide others in faith and action. For the word of God is upheld by God himself. There's a shooting guard. Often the team's primary score, they are like the evangelists or those who spread the word of God, helping the team score by reaching others. The biblical parallel can be found in Acts 1.8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me. There's a small forward, a versatile player, balancing offense and defense. They are like those in the church who can adapt to different roles, serving wherever needed. For as, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, Romans 12, 4. There's a powerful the enforcer strong in defense and rebounding. They symbolize strength and protection, like those who defend the faith and help protect the congregation. Watch ye stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men. Be strong. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Then there's a center. The tallest and strongest. They dominate inside the paint. Defending and scoring close to the basket. They are like the pillars of faith. Foundational and supporting and holding the teams together. And he set some in the church. First, apostles. Secondly, prophets. Thirdly, teachers. First Corinthians 12, 28. Notice that all these positions are normally... strategically designed to work together in order to properly execute a team and to meeting its goal. Every player had a specific job to do, a specific skill set that would become more perfected as they played together as a team. And yet there was a particular position that had the ability to adapt to different roles, serving wherever needed. This is the unity through the spirit of God that lets the body of Christ operate in many capacity wherever needed. Not everybody can do that. Only the ones God had given special gifting to do so. Only the ones in a basketball team that has special talents and abilities to do that. This is how a team operates. Let's look at the football lineup. There's a quarterback, the leader who calls the plays and distributes the ball. This position can be compared to a spiritual leader who provides direction and guidance. Psalms 32, 8 says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee in my eye. 
A running back, the one who carries the ball and drives forward, much like someone in the body of Christ who actively pursues God's will with perseverance. Philippians 3.14, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. A wide receiver known for catching passes and scoring touchdowns. They represent those who take the word of God and spread it far and wide. Mark 16, 15, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. An offensive line. These players protect the quarterback and create opportunities for others, much like players or prayer warriors those who support the church behind the scene. Galatians 6, 2. Be ye one another's burdens, bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. There's a defense, a defense line, linebacker, secondary. The defenders prevent the other team from scoring, representing those who defend the faith and stand firm against spiritual attack. But on the whole arm of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians 6, 11. Just as a basketball or football team work together, each member of the body of Christ has a role to play. In 1 Corinthians 12, Paul explains that the body has many members, each with its own function yet all working together to glorify God. Let me say that one more time. The body has many members, each with its own function, being many, yet all working together to glorify God. They all have a common God to glorify God. Unity and diversity, for as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. 1 Corinthians 12, 12. Interdependence, and the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. 1 Corinthians 12, 24. Every player on a team, like every believer, is essential. When all work together, they can glorify God and achieve their purpose just as a well-coordinated team wins the game. The prize is not given to the swift or the fast but they that endure to the end. Endurance is necessary as we preserve the faith that God has given everyone a measure of and stay the course that he has set before all who have made themselves committed to his holy and righteousness. Now, this was just an imagery because many understand the sports of football and basketball. And so you see the necessity of everyone perfecting and being serious about their part, the role that they play, and participate in as a team for the overall team to accomplish the goal to glorify God. That is the design of the body of Christ, that we all have the same mind the same objective to glorify God. Not our own will, 
not out of order. Not haphazardly trying to take on a road that we have not been authorized, knowledgeable, nor able to participate in. In order for the body of Christ to be effective, it must be committed to God. First and foremost, it must be unified. Through the mind of Christ, in the spirit of Christ. And it must all desire to achieve the same goal, to glorify God. Let's get ready to go to the throne of grace. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and disputing, that ye may be blameless but harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as light in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered up the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. And may you forever trust in the Lord. To appoint and anoint for service unto him. That he might be glorified in any area of your life. For the excellency in these earthly vessels. Is not of ourselves, but is the impartation of the Spirit of Christ that dwelleth within. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you for the analogy, the natural imagery that can be viewed from spiritual understanding of how the body of Christ was designed to work together in unification. That you determine every part and orchestrate everyone that would operate in those parts so that you would be glorified And that the body would operate in excellence. That the manifestation of the knowledge of your wisdom would resonate to show forth your power and your glory. May we all yield to your wisdom. May we all abide in your will. May we all desire to be perfected, settled, and established by you. For you who have begun a good work will bring it to completion. In Jesus' name we pray and give you the glory that you so rightfully do. Amen, amen, amen. We serve a God that is holy and righteous and pure and true and honorable and just in all of his ways. Never take him for granted. 
He is excellent. Praiseworthy. And honorable and just. And he reigns eternally. Thank you, Lord. When they were all on one accord, the Bible say the Holy Spirit fell upon me on the day of Pentecost. And many were drawn by the Spirit unto the body. Changed and transformed by the power of God. Peter didn't do it. Paul didn't do it. John didn't do it. The drawing was through the Son, to the Father, by the Holy Spirit. The excellency that imparted in these earthly vessels that greater works could be done in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. He determines. And when you honor and respect the one who determines, he makes himself known to you. He authorizes your working and they'll be found honorable unto him because they'll be manifested in his will and purpose for your life. The holy righteous one. We bless your name, God. For there's no other name above your name. And every name knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that you're Lord. And anything we do in life, if we ask God to reveal and give us wisdom, he'll take the natural things and give us the spiritual wisdom that aligns with the knowledge of his word. Just as the football and the basketball, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit work together so that the Godhead is glorified. They have the same goal, the same objective. What you've done on the cross displays your You can't divide them. You can't separate them. They operate in unification. The son will never do anything to dishonor the father. I don't deserve this kind of the Holy Spirit will always honor the Father and the Son. They operate in the highest esteem of the excellency 
There's no competition. It's the glory of the Father. As we honor. You are my child. And work toward the goal. And when one member is weak, a stronger member steps in to encourage, to assist, to give wisdom and knowledge and understanding as God gives. Whatever we do in the name of the Lord, do in his excellency. Doing his superiority, acknowledging who he is. His nature, who he is, his name is gracious, merciful, slow to anger, and rich in love. And know that nothing can separate you from his love. Beloved ones, just receive. He's worthy. The blood of Jesus washes. And honorable. The blood of Jesus. Cleanses. Yes. The blood of Jesus Nothing Christ. but the blood of Jesus. And for us to Remember the blood. Remember the spiritual adoption through the blood of Jesus Christ. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit that joins and unites. What can nothing? The blood of Jesus. Amen. What can make you whole, fulfilled, satisfied? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. I have a huge 